Hello everyone, today we are in the Gibraltar Range National Park in northern New South Wales on a pretty wet and crappy day to be honest, but we're doing a walk anyways. Got a little, I'm kind of in a little shelter here to film the start of the video without getting too soaked, but basically we're at Mulligan's Hut there and the trails sort of lead into the forest there. There's lots of signage and infrastructure. We're going to be heading to Dandara Falls, which are this big waterfall. Four and a half k's return, I'll now three hours. I can't see it taking that long, although 250 meters of descending sounds a bit scary. Nice little map, we might try and check out the cascades as well. But yeah, should be a good walk, should be a really impressive waterfall hopefully. And with all this rain, you'd expect it to be flowing pretty well. And we'll see how we go, I'll see you a bit further along. Okay, another sign here. This one says it's 6k's return to the fall, so I really have no idea. There's also a few other signs around the place, but the general idea is we're going this way. I've heard now 4.5 on the other sign, 5 on the park's website, and 6 here, and then 8 on a blog as the return length of this hike. So I guess we'll find out. Really pretty forest here. Obviously, it's had a fire go through. I imagine probably the big 2020 fires torched this area. So it's recovered pretty well. Okay, a little turn off to the Baranula Cascades. It says they're 20 meters this way, which is probably a detour we can manage. Well, they're clearly not any kind of waterfall of note, but it's kind of a cool spot. Baranula Cascades. Really, there's little rapids on the creek. So, I've been going 15 minutes, maybe. Pretty much typical of this, just going downhill steadily through this fairly open regrowth forest after the fires. I mean, it's not surprising we're going down here. We'll, follow, we'll basically follow the creek until we're level with the top of the waterfall, then the steep descent starts. Very pretty in here in the rain. It's kind of interesting. We were just outside in that open dry forest, and then all of a sudden we're in this rainforest, which is really pretty. Almost takes them back in North Queensland. Really perfect conditions to be in the rainforest, so gloomy and damp, everything. At a junction here, that way it heads down to the Marumbi Cascade, which we won't be doing. And this way towards Dandara Falls. Nice tree blocking the track as well. And now, a sign here, which is a very old sign, about the partial track closure. So if you look at the red track there, it's the old track to the top of the falls, that's all closed now. That orange track is the one we're gonna be hiking. So, yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. Should be pretty obvious. And obviously the orange viewpoint is where you actually see the waterfall, which is better than being on top of it. So we've come to Lybird Rock. You see this orange ribbon and then the pink ribbon down there as well, which might not show up too on the camera. This is Lybird Rock. I'll give you a little look over there. It's very misty, which is concerning because I can't want to be able to see this waterfall, but anyways, we'll see what we see. The pink ribbon's almost redundant, really, because it's actually a pretty good track, really. It's very easy to follow. Obviously, well-trodden enough for park service to feel they can put it on their website and clearly it's not like a properly constructed trail or anything but haven't got to the steep bit yet albeit so I'm sure it will get more difficult further on and once again concerningly misty in the gorge for our hopes of actually seeing any waterfalls 
sending deeper. It's kind of a bit annoying track, a bit of an annoying track because of all the, the fire. It means that we've got heaps of this like crappy scrub to push through, a lot of which is pretty spiky. Still very easy to follow the track with the ton of ribbons that people have put on. Alrighty, so it's been a rough old hike. Made to Dandara Falls. Um, the lookout was a little further up. The other side of a big flat area. I'll go back up and show you a clip of it, but I wasn't that happy with the view, so I sort of scrambled down that. I'll give you a bit of a look around. That's where I've come down. It's a very steep, rocky sort of scramble up. With all these big boulders. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. It's much harder than the rest of the hike. But the view of the falls is awesome. And it's a big waterfall. The fog really lifted nicely for me here, so I thought I'd kind of make hay while the, the sun shone, so to speak, and take some photos. I'm going to go a little further down. I reckon it might, might even be a better view from one of those little outcrops. But it is incredibly steep and dangerous terrain, so you've got to be really careful. Down in the gorge, the fall sort of keeps going a bit further. And I know, like, abseilers and canyoners head down there. Seen some shots from right down the bottom, it's pretty cool, but the view from here is certainly good enough. It's a very, very precarious overlook. It's like on a slope towards a cliff, but the view is excellent. So as you can probably tell from my puffing, I've been coming up the hill, but this is the um, official, unofficial lookout for Dandara Falls. Sort of nice flat rock. Really pretty view into the valley now that it's cleared up a bit. And a good view of the waterfall. Clearly not as all encompassing as lower down, but if you're not up for a really rough scramble down there, it's still definitely worth it to get to this point. Up we go. Alrighty, so we are now on the home stretch of track. Um, just cruise along this nice flat section. Right the video here, it's a really good walk in the end. I think it took us about a little over half hour to Lybird Rock on the way in and presumably the same on the way out. And then that half hour further down to look out for the falls and then back up. Obviously, I explored a bit further past there. I probably wouldn't suggest doing it. It was very scrambling and a bit un unstable, the footing and everything. But if you're really keen, it's definitely a better view from lower down. A very impressive waterfall. I think it probably sneaks into my top 10 in New South Wales, um, which has sort of been getting compiled over this trip. And that'll probably be it for this video and it for this series of walks I've done around New South Wales over the last week or so. Um, and yeah, I'll see you back in Tassie next, most likely.